Hey gang, in this episode, we're going to talk about the 1001 Core 1 A plus objectives. If you've never heard a podcast before, this is Rob with Master IT. I'm going to waste any time. Let's get straight into it. So, the first domain that you're going to run across in A plus is going to be mobile devices. And this is all of the objectives that are inside of mobile devices devices. So you got hardware and device replacement. You got types of displays and monitors, Wi-Fi antenna connector placement and replacement, installing webcams, microphones, inverters, and digitizers or touchscreens. You also have using laptop features such as special function keys, docking stations, port replicators, physical laptop locks and cable locks, and rotating or removable screens. You also have comparing and contrasting different mobile devices such as tablets, smartphones, smartwatches, fitness monitors, VR, AR headsets, e-readers, and GPS. Next up, connecting and configuring different accessories such as wired connection types, wireless connection types, such as NFC, Bluetooth, IR, and hotspots, and also configuring accessories, such as headsets, speakers, game pads, extra battery packs, protective covers, credit card readers, and memory cards. Next up, you got configuring basic mobile device network connectivity, such as hotspots, tethering, what is airplane mode, enabling, disabling, and pairing Bluetooth, configuring network connectivity for corporate or ISP email configuration, integrated cloud configuration, Radio firmware, EMI versus IM, IMSI, and VPNs. Last but not least, in the mobile device domain, you have device synchronization, such as synchronization methods, types of data to synchronize, multiple authentication for SSO, software requirements, and connection types enable synchronization. That was the first set of objectives for the mobile device domain. If that was going by pretty fast, it's because it's a lot of stuff to cover. And remember, uh, we cover all of this stuff over at Master IT inside of our course. Uh, this is a reason that I push people to... Uh, study up a lot and why not come to um, a place where people are succeeding uh, you got a guy that actually cares about you and wants to see you succeed um, and actually has a course that's affordable and works next up next domain is networking so in this domain you compare and contrast tcp and udp ports and protocols that's going to be your first objective your next objective is going to be compare and contrast common network hardware devices such as routers, switches, and access points. Your next objective is given a scenario, install and configure a basic SOHO network. So that's going to be access point settings, IP addressing, QoS, DMZs. Next up is going to be compare and contrast wireless 
networking protocols. So that's going to dive into 802.11, all the different frequencies and the variations between those two, 4G, 5G, and LTE, okay? Next objective, summarize the properties and purposes of services provided by network hosts. So there's going to be a lot of server-based roles. Next up is explain common network configuration concepts. So IP addressing, will you do it dynamically? Will you do it statically? How you set your DNS server up? How you set up your gateways? How you set up your VPN? Will you have VLANs? If all of these acronyms, if all of these things aren't ringing a bell, that means that you need to study up so you be prepared for the core one, um, 1001 exam. Just remember, um, A plus two-part exam, um, 1001 and 1002 to get certified. Next objective, compare and contrast internet connection types, network types and their features. So that's going to go on the difference between cable, DSL, dial-up, fiber, different types of network types. Are you in a LAN, a WAN, or a MAN? so on and so forth. Uh, next up is giving a scenario. This is the last objective um, for the networking domain. Giving a scenario, use appropriate networking tools. What tools do you need to use in certain situations? The next domain is hardware. The first objective in hardware is explain basic cable types, features, and their purpose so CAT5, CAT6, fiber, coaxial, and those different scenarios, which one will you use? Uh, what's the difference between HDMI, BGA? So those different types of cables, what would be the differences? Um, identify common connector types, such as RJ45, RS232, DB9, lightning cables, so on and so forth. Next objective. Given a scenario, install RAM types. So dim, dim, single channel, triple channel, dual channel. Next up is 3.4. This is the third objective for the hardware domain. So given a scenario, select, install, and configure storage devices. So that could be optical drives, solid state drives, magnetic drives, Drives that don't have moving parts, flash drives, different RAID configurations, all of that is going to be smushed into that objective. Next objective is given a scenario, install and configure motherboard, CPUs, and add on cards. So that's different motherboard form factors, different express slots, different expansion slots. What's the difference between the BIOS and UEFI, CMOS batteries, CPU features? There's a lot crammed inside of that objective. Um, 3.6 or the sixth objective in the third domain, which is hardware, explain the purposes and uses of various peripheral devices. A peripheral, um, if you don't know what that is, is things such as microphones, speakers, projectors, things that are outside of um, the PC. Okay. Next objective for the hardware domain, summarize power supply types and features. Next objective, given a scenario, select and configure appropriate components for custom PC configuration to meet customer specifications. If somebody wants a graphic design PC, what would you put inside of that machine? If somebody wants to have a gaming machine, what would you put inside of that machine? So on and so forth. Next objective, given a scenario, install and configure common devices. What's the difference between a thick client and a thin client? How do you configure the touchpad? How do you configure the touchscreen? How do you synchronize all the applications together? Next objective is given a scenario, configure Soho multifunction devices. So such as printers, a multifunction device just means something that can print, scan, can do a multiple of functions. The last objective in the hardware domain is given a scenario, install and maintain various print technologies. So laser printers, inkjet printers, thermal printers, all types of printers will be the last objective in the 
hardware domain. And we got two more domains to go. So just remember, we went over a lot of stuff so far. Um, if it seems like a lot, trust me, <laughs> it is. Um, good news, like I said, over at Master IT, we got you covered. Um, the fourth domain is virtualization and cloud computing. So um, the first objective just kind of gives you an overview of cloud computing, um, different services that are provided, what's the difference between IS, SAS, and PaaS, different types of mail services. Do you want a virtual desktop? Do you want to virtualize everything? So that's what's going to be covered in the first objective and pretty much in the second objective as well. It's going to be cloud computing and virtualization. So the fifth domain only has two objectives, and the main ob objectives are going to be cloud computing and virtualization. So the last um, domain covers troubleshooting, all right? So a lot of the tests, as I always say, is a lot of troubleshooting, but the last domain, which is going to be sprinkled, just remember, this stuff isn't in order on the test. This is just saying that these are things that are going to be covered on the exam, okay? So the last domain uh, is going to be hardware and network troubleshooting. So troubleshooting everything, all right? So that's pretty much what you need to think about. Everything that we just named, mobile devices, laptops, networking, uh, peripheral devices, printers, all that stuff is going to be on the exam. And you're going to have to figure out if something's wrong, what went wrong, and how do I fix it? So, for example, uh, given a scenario, use the best practice mythology to resolve problems. Remember that CompTIA has their own steps to troubleshooting and there's six steps and that first objective is going to cover those six steps. Um, given a scenario, troubleshoot problems related to motherboards, RAM, CPU, and power is a second objective. Third objective, given a scenario, troubleshoot hard drives and RAID arrays. Fourth objective, given a scenario, like I said, it's a little bit of everything, troubleshoot video, projector, and display issues. Fifth, given a scenario, troubleshoot mobile devices. Six, given a scenario, troubleshoot printers. And last but not least, given a scenario, troubleshoot common wired and wireless network problems. So, gang, good news is I got you covered. Um, every objective that's on the exam, um, we actually have that inside of the course. And we go over every objective, making sure that you understand um, and making sure that you're prepared to pass the exam. Just remember this. Um, is a great foundational certification, giving you a good foundation to be built upon. So um, if you're looking for um, a course, just make sure you head over to itmagicky.com, jump into our um, A-plus course. Um, if you're looking for um, some study buddies, head over to the Facebook group um, at Master IT Cyber, Cybersecurity um, Facebook study group. If this podcast has helped you, make sure that you share it with two of your buddies. Follow us on Twitter at Master IT TX. Um, follow us on Instagram at IT underscore master. And other than that, hopefully um, this video gave you a clear picture as to what to expect um, on A+. It's a lot. You know, I, I never I never sugarcoat things. It's a lot. It's a lot of shit to remember. Um, but good news is um, with, you know, hard work and dedication, anything is possible. And other than that, I will see you guys in class.